Morning YouTube. So with today's video, let's talk about Lacoste. And that's gonna be Lacoste L1212 Magnetique, which was launched in 2016 and is classed as a woody aromatic. The note breakdown, according to Fragrantica, top notes are gonna be artemisia, juniper, but also bamboo, with the mead being violet, tea, and geranium, and the base is gonna be vetiver, patchouli, but also amber. What do I get from this fragrance here? Now this opens up with woods, but also artemisia. So the artemisia does give it that green herbal vibe. But you're gonna get that bamboo, but also the juniper berries, or just the juniper. The bamboo itself kind of adds something a little bit unique, but what also makes this one a little bit unique is the violet. That violet itself is very front and center along with that bamboo. There is a powdery undertone to this one here as well, but you're also gonna get a little bit of that tea. Not a whole lot, but it's there. The base itself is still gonna be that violet and the bamboo, which is kind of unusual because that bamboo is the top note, but it also becomes a little bit more woody with that vetiver. I don't get the patchouli, I don't get the amber at all. This fragrance itself is very different than a lot of the other Lacoste offerings that come in the L1212 series. A lot of the L1212 series, they're all very fresh and mass appealing, easy to wear. This one's a little bit more challenging in some ways. To my nose, there's a certain sharpness to this sense. I don't know if it's the violet or if it's the bamboo or if it's a combination of the two, but there is something that's a little off-putting to my nose. Do I like this fragrance? I do, but there's just something that's not really agreeing with my nose like, like the other Lacoste fragrances out there. This is just, it's different. It's a, I don't wanna say it's daring, but it's so unusual for a Lacoste fragrance. Lacoste are fresh, clean, mass appealing. This is mass appealing in some ways. It is a little bit fresh, but it's much greener and much woodier than a lot of the other scents out there. This is more of a spring and summer scent. I would probably say maybe a little bit more spring-ish. You can wear daily casual, but I do think that it might shine a little bit more at work or just like a daily casual type of fragrance. Can you rock it to school? You can, but I can't really see like a high schooler really liking this one. Perhaps a college student, but definitely not a high schooler. This is just more of a like a, a weekend scent or like um, a work scent in my opinion. Longevity of this was definitely better than the other L1212 series. I got seven to eight hours. Projection was moderate and price tag for this one here. Now Lacoste is known as an, a very affordable economic brand. And this fragrance itself is no exception. You're gonna spend anywhere from $30 to $50 USD. Wife's thoughts, didn't ask the wife, but I don't know if the wife would really like this one. In the end, do I like it? Again, yes. But it's just, it's such an unusual fragrance, all right? Compared to the other offerings from the L1212 series. That bamboo and that violet itself, there's just something that's not 100% agreeing with my nose. Like overall, it's not a bad phrase. It's just, I'm still a little unsure as to what to re really think. And I've been wearing this all week long. It's definitely unusual. It's green, it's very woody. That powdery violet itself is definitely there. And you're gonna get like a little bit of freshness to it, all right? Would I recommend this? I would recommend you sampling or smelling it before you blind buy. Because if you're looking for a safe blind buy from Lacoste, stick with like the white, the yellow, the blue, the green. Not this one here, all right? Like it's in the shape of a blue bottle, I get it. But it's magnetique. There's something, this is not your typical Lacoste fragrance. And that is my review of Lacoste L1212 Magnetique. Guys, Look into it if you want. It's just, it's so different compared to the other offerings once again. And I'm just repeating myself because I'm still flabbergasted after a, a week of wearing this one. It's good, but it's just, it's not your typical, it's not what I expected from this brand, all right? So guys, if you like this very video, you know what to do. Leave me one of these as I really would appreciate it. I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.